Hi, I'm Amashni, and in this lesson, we'll be working with equations that have unknowns on both sides of the equal to sign. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve equations with an unknown on either side of the equal to sign and solve equations involving brackets. Let's look at the following example. Isaac Tubella has been given land to plant two orchards in the series area in the Western Cape. In one orchard, he wants to plant Granny Smith apple trees, and in the other orchard, he wants to plant Golden Delicious apple trees. In orchard one, he starts by planting 150 Granny Smith apple trees. Every day, he plants another 10 trees. In orchard two, he starts by planting 450 Golden Delicious apple trees. He plants an additional 8 trees per day. So Isaac would like to know after how many days he will have the same number of trees in both the orchards. So let's rephrase this and see if we can set up an equation that we can solve. After how many days is the number of Granny Smith trees equal to the number of Golden Delicious trees? So how do we go about answering this question? Let's start by focusing on all the information we have about the Granny Smith orchard. If we put all these values in a table, we'll be able to look for a pattern and thus be able to set up an equation to solve. We know that the number of trees that Isaac planted initially was 150. We know every day thereafter he plants another 10 trees. So on day 1 he plants 10 trees, on day 2 another 10 trees, and on day 3 another 10 trees. Now this means that the total number of trees that he planted initially is still 150. On day 1, it will be the initial amount of 150 plus the 10. So this gives me 150 plus 10, and our total here is 160. On day 2, it is the initial amount plus 10 plus another 10. This gives me 150 plus 2 times 10, which gives me 170. On day 3, we get 150 plus 10 plus 10 plus another 10. So this gives me 150 plus 3 times 10. This gives me a total of 180. Do you see a pattern? Look carefully at the values. On day 1, the total number of trees is 150 plus 110. On day 2, the total number of trees is 150 plus 2 tens. And on day 3, it is 150 plus 3 tens. Now what do you think will be the total number of trees on day 100? Well, let's use the pattern. We know that on day 100, the number of trees he planted was 10. So the total number of trees is the initial amount of 150 plus 10 times 100. This gives us a total of 1,150. But back to the question. Remember, Isaac wanted to know on which day the number of Golden Delicious trees will be the same as the Granny Smith trees. So it is the day that is unknown. So we can let the day be x. We know that the number of trees planted on day x would be 10. So we can calculate the total number of trees as the initial amount of 150 plus 10 times x. So this gives me 150 plus 10 times x. Now we can set up an expression for the number of Granny Smith trees. So the number of trees is 150 plus 10x, where x represents the number of days. So now we have one expression. We need to set up an equation that shows that the number of Granny Smith trees is equal to the number of Golden Delicious trees. So we need to follow the same procedure for the Golden Delicious trees. Remember, 
Isaac starts by planting 450 golden delicious apple trees. He plants an additional 8 trees per day. I have already set up a table of values for the golden delicious trees. This table is similar to the one I draw for Granny Smith trees. Let's have a look. We know that the number of trees that Isaac planted initially was 450. He then planted 8 trees every day thereafter. The total number of trees on day 1 is 450 plus 8 times 1. On day 2 it is 450 plus 8 times 2. On day 3 it is 450 plus 8 times 3. On day x it is 450 plus 8 times x. So this is now our other expression. So how do we solve the problem using these two expressions? Remember, we needed to find the day on which the number of Granny Smith trees is the same as the number of Golden Delicious trees. So let's use these two expressions to set up an equation like this. The number of Granny Smith trees is equal to the number of Golden Delicious trees. So we need to find the day which is x. The instruction for this equation is Solve for x if 150 plus 10x, which was the first expression, is equal to 450 plus 8x, the second expression. So let's solve this equation. I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides of the equation. I get 150 minus 8x plus 10x is equal to 450 plus 8x minus 8x. This simplifies to 150 plus 2x is equal to 450. Now I subtract 150 from both sides of the equation. I get 150 minus 150 plus 2x is equal to 450 minus 150. This simplifies to 2x is equal to 300. Now, I want to solve for 1x, which means I need to divide by 2. But remember, whatever we do on the one side of the equation, we must do on the other side. So I need to divide here by 2. I get x equal to 150. Now look at the operations in this example that I have prepared. Now I've followed the same steps as before. I've added the additive inverses. We start off by subtracting negative 8x from both sides. This gives us 150 plus 2x is equal to 450. Now we subtract negative 150 from both sides. This gives us 2x is equal to 300. Now I've got to think, what number multiplied by 2 gives me 300? And our answer is obviously 150. So the number of days is 150. What does this all mean? Let's substitute 150 days into both our expressions and see what we get. I've got 150 plus 10x. If I substitute 150 for x, I get 150 plus 10 times 150. This gives me 150 plus 1500. And our total is 1,650. Now let's do the same here by substituting 150 for x. This gives me 450 plus 8 times 150. We get 450 plus 1,200. Our total here is 1,650. So our solution is correct. In 150 days, Isaac would have the same number of trees in both the orchids. Now let's look at another example. Vishal is 5 years younger than Patience. In 10 years time, Patience will be twice as old as Vishal is now. How old is Patience? Let's analyze what we know and what we need to know. We have two unknowns namely patient's age and Vishal's age. Do you think we should be using two unknowns to set up this equation? Should we let one of the ages be x and the other be y? Think carefully. We have two pieces of information and they both show a relationship between Vishal's age and patient's age. Let's express these relationships in terms of one unknown. 
The question is, how old is Patience? So let's start by taking that as the unknown. A table can help us organize our information. Now we know that Patience's current age is X, which is the unknown. We also know that Vishal is five years younger than Patience at the moment, so we need to subtract by five. Now if Patience is X years at the moment, in 10 years time, it makes sense for her to be X plus 10 years. Now let's look at the question again to set up our equation. In 10 years time, Patience will be twice as old as Vishal is now. So writing this algebraically, we get Patience's age in 10 years time, which is X plus 10, is equal to two times Vishal's current age, which is x minus 5. Did you notice that the question did not ask us anything about Vishal's age in 10 years time? So, you see that we do not need to use it. Now let's solve this equation. We've got x plus 10 is equal to 2 times x minus 5. Now remember, we have a bracket here, which means multiply this 2 into both terms in the bracket. This gives us x plus 10 is equal to 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times minus 5, which gives me negative 10. Now, this is an equation, which means we need to keep the balance. In other words, if I subtract 10 from from this side, I also need to subtract 10 from this side. This gives me x is equal to 2x minus 20. Now I subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. This gives me minus 2x. I get x minus 2x, which gives me negative x. And is equal to negative 20. This means that x is equal to 20. This means that Patience is now 20 years old. Let's verify our answer by substituting back into our table. We know that x is 20. This is 20 minus 5 which is equal to 15 x plus 10 is equal to 20 plus 10, which gives me 30. Now let's look at the information that we use to set up this equation. In 10 years time, patients will be twice as old as Vishal is now. And in the table, we see that patients age in 10 years time is 30 years. Vishal's age currently is 15. So we see that patients age in 10 years time is in fact twice Vishal's age. So we see that our solution is correct. Let's now summarize what we have done in today's lesson. We solved equations that include unknowns on both sides of the equal to sign and solve equations involving brackets. Write down the following task and see if you can work out the answer. Nadia and Rochelle collect the tokens from packets of crunchy chips. Nadia has 23 tokens more than Rochelle has. Altogether, they have 77 tokens. A. Calculate how many tokens each girl has. B. Show how you did the calculation with a diagram or in words. Well, keep practicing and I'll see you in our next lesson.